What's up YouTube, my name is Votrix and in this video I'll be showing you how to make some cool effect with a plugin of Photoshop called Magic Blur Looks. If you don't know what plugin is that or you never used it before, I'm gonna teach you what it is and describe the program a little bit and what it can do. So if you're interested in that, make sure to watch it till the end of the video, some sick effects is gonna happen on the Photoshop. And if you try to hit 50 likes, that'd be insane. Thanks for time for letting me collab on this channel and with all being said, let's dig in. So when you finish your design, all you have to do is just group everything together and just add them together, merge them in one layer. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to get a, a design that I made time ago, this one right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some sick effects on it, if you can see. I already added to this thumbnail, but you can add it twice if, if you want to, if you want to make it much better. So what you have to do first, what I do uh, before I add Magic Blur Looks, which is you can go on Filter, Magic Blur Looks. I go on Adjustment and go on Color Lookup. Now when it says 3D LUT file, click that, like try all of them and see if, if they look good. As you can see this one here looks amazing, so what I do after I change the Blending Mode to Overlay, it makes it look good, but you can always like mess with it a little bit. I always want to add this because it has like a cool effect on it. Now group them again together. Now duplicate the layer, and now start with the magic wheel looks. And if you want to get magic wheel looks, uh, you have to pay for it. Oh my God. Of course, but if you don't get it for free. I just mean you can, you have to pay always for it, so what you have to do, go on filter, magic, bullet looks, photo looks. Now this uh, other window is going to load and it's going to show some stuff here. You probably won't have nothing here and it will be just like your normal one. So what you can do, if you put your mouse right, you can see some effects here. If you click on the, their custom one from inside magic bullet looks, you can see it has like cool effects. To see the difference, you can see here it says tool chain. If you click on it, it disables it. If you click on it again, it's enabled. So if you can see Magic Blue Looks, it makes amazing effects. And if you want to know what effect I do on my designs, if you want like cool designs, first thing if you go on your left or your right for you. Why life? Uh... If you go on subject, and if you go on uh, wait pop, double click on pop. You can just mess with it, of course. I was trying to do like uh, 50%. Yeah, that's fine. Now go again, and now to deselect, just click here to the different one. Uh, go to right now. And what I do, I go again like, on a subject, and go on curves, double click on it. I'm trying to do like a S shape, and it's very hard on Magic Works to do this. Just gotta do it with your mouse like this. And it has like a cool effect on it. Now go again on it. And what I do now, you can add a lot of stuff here, but what I usually do now is add effects, like, add like a glitch effect, which is, I honestly can't find the effect now, what the f Oh yeah. So what you have to do now, go on subject, chromatic aberration, that's what it's called. Now click on green and magnet and uh, highlight the whole thing, click one and click out of it. Now highlight the second one, click two and highlight all of it. And it adds like a cool glitch effect which always makes the design better. Any design can look better with this effect. So yeah, now what I love to do is add some spot expo exposure which it's very easy basically you just add like a spot and you can choose what color you want the spot as well which is amazing so to like your size I just click on the corners and you can make it big with your mouse this middle one is like where it starts like where the, the spot starts and I would love to have one like here and I put it like two or you can put them more if you want to it's fine and click finish when you finish the whole thing and now the difference is from this one here, now uh, after you finish you can like group them together and to see the difference let me get the file back up and show you guys 
how much is the difference and how much this program can do or this plugin. So from this, we went to this. Bullshit. And I know the difference so much, it has such a good effect on it. So that's what basically I do on it. If you want to know more into depth with it, you can go on it and search some tutorials on YouTube. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. With all being said, my name is Vatrix. You've been awesome. Check out my channel, plug myself there, and I'll see you in my next video. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! No!